Protect Our Children Now is what seems like a novel approach to taking the vitamin D story out to the community, to let women know that they're at risk for vitamin D deficiency, and to say, you have a choice that you can actually find out what your vitamin D status is and make a difference in your own life. So the Institute of Medicine defines deficiency as less than 20 nanograms per ml, which is 50 nanomoles per liter. However, in our studies, what we found is optimal vitamin D status during pregnancy should be at least 40 nanograms per ml. We base that on our work. So I work with Dr. Bruce Hollis here at the Medical University of South Carolina, and we found that 25 hydroxyvitamin D's conversion to the active hormone of vitamin D, which is called 125 dihydroxyvitamin D, is optimized at 40 nanograms per ml. And when we consider why, why is that? Why is it important to have an optimal 125 dihydroxyvitamin D level, or sometimes you'll hear it 125? It's because we think 125 is important for allowing tolerance within a woman's body during pregnancy. The, the fetus is, has half the genome of the mother and half the father, and so it's foreign. So the DNA of the, of the fetus is foreign to the mother, and she could have like a graft versus host uh, reaction. And so the, it's important for the vitamin D, we think, to induce tolerance to the fetus. Although we certainly have years of studies and research to be able to confirm that, we certainly know that having low levels of vitamin D does put a woman at risk for adverse outcomes of pregnancy, which then, of course, impact on her developing fetus and newborn. What does it mean for the developing uh, infant and child and then later adults because their mom was vitamin D deficient, deficient during pregnancy. Well, we certainly know that for the infant in the first year of life, that infant is at higher risk for something called respiratory syncytial virus, RSV, which for an adult would cause a bad cold. But if you're an infant, can actually lead to really severe bronchitis and even death. So it's important then that a baby be um, have sufficient vitamin D levels um, during um, infancy. We also know that vitamin D deficiency has been linked for, with a higher risk of type 1 diabetes. It's um, based on studies that were done more than 30 years ago in Finland where infants were given much higher doses of vitamin D supplementation. And looking at that population as a whole, they found lower rates of type 1 diabetes in those who had um, the higher uh, supplement um, that dose than those who didn't. Uh, we also know that later on in life, if you were vitamin D deficient in your um, less than 20 years of age, you're at much greater risk of developing multiple sclerosis. You're also at higher risk of other autoimmune diseases, such as lupus and certain cancers, um, particularly prostate, breast, and colon cancer. What we're trying to do with our Protect Our Children campaign now is to empower women who are planning to get pregnant or who are pregnant to have their vitamin D levels checked and to attain a level of at least 40 nanograms per ml. And what may work in one woman is not going to necessarily work in another because your vitamin D status really depends on a number of things. It depends on your activity level, your outdoor exposure, it depends on what you eat, and it also depends on your um, body mass index. So women who have more adipose tissue are going to need more vitamin D to get the same level. And so those are some of the factors that can impact a woman's vitamin D status. My final recommendation for women who are planning to get pregnant or who are pregnant is to achieve a total circulating 25 hydroxyvitamin D of at least 40 nanograms per ml. I would urge her to have a level before she starts on the supplement just so she knows uh, the basis, what her baseline is, and then to follow that up in two months. That's really the safest way, and it may very well be that she needs more than the 4,000 international units. I would urge her to also work with her physician or her healthcare professional to achieve that. Thank you very much.